As a stormwater expert, you probably find yourself in situations where you need to talk about the issue so that people get why it's important and why we should take steps to fix it. Luckily, there's all kinds of messaging research out there to tell us what works and what doesn't work. We've boiled it down to five simple tips to keep in mind. First, name the real problem. It's okay to use the term stormwater, but remember that most people don't know what it means. They think of storms, which is only part of the story. We want them to think more about toxics and pollution that regularly sweeps off our roads, roofs, and parking lots and winds up in local waterways. The problem and solutions are more vivid if we say runoff, and especially when we talk about toxic or polluted runoff. Second, avoid jargon and acronyms. LID and even low impact development are really important runoff solutions but the ideas get lost when we don't explain what they are. Instead, try saying development done right. People understand the idea of doing it right the first time. Third, keep it specific and local. Name names. Identify the specific pollutants and their sources. Oil from trucks and cars. Pesticides from lawns. And people are really proud and protective of the places they live. So it's good to name the specific local waterways where pollution ends up like the Columbia River Gorge, Boundary Bay, or Puget Sound. Fourth, emphasize solutions and illustrate them with local success stories. The good news is that there are inexpensive ways to keep our water clean. Win-win fixes that also reduce flooding and puddles on streets and private property, make our neighborhoods look nice, and create jobs. Fifth, and most important, make the human connection. People really need to know why they should care. It's not only about ecosystems and fish. Polluted runoff is about the water our families use and the food we eat. It's a question of our health, safety, and economic vitality. And don't be afraid to say why you care. For example, my two-year-old daughter loves to eat local salmon, wade in Lake Washington on a sunny day, or play on the beach at Carkeek Park. I'm reminded all the time why clean water is so important to my family and to our region.